Hello one and all, I'm Lorelian. this is Mega Publix, and today we are between sessions on our multiplayer Crusader Kings 2 game. I am playing Duke, uh, Jurgen, I think that's how, Jurgen, Jurgen, of Corinthia. And currently we are in revolt against the Holy Roman Empire and we're probably going to lose it. And that is very unfortunate. He might revoke a duchy from us. And that would suck. Uh, hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he gives us leniency. <laughs> uh, which is unfortunately unlikely as we are we are traitors. Um, let's look at... Does he need the council to revoke titles? He does need the council to revoke titles. Which is good. Uh, hopefully the council doesn't want to revoke my title. And it would also be fantastic if they didn't revoke the Kingdom of Italy. But, uh, God, God only knows. Only God knows. I was really hoping that Kramer had more, uh, more pikemen. As we were eaten alive by, by his, uh, by the, uh, German special, uh, do, 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 do. By the German Special Heavy Cavalry. Which, given the fact that my character is German, I should probably be building a lot more myself. With any luck. And, of course, I never wish death upon my own character just because it's... I don't know. It, I, I feel like it's not very roleplay -y, But, with any luck, I might... My character might pass away before this war ends. Of old age. Now, I, again, I don't really want that to happen just because I... I I don't like wishing for my own character's death. But, uh, that might happen. Uh, Count John is my successor. He's, uh, he's a genius, he's stubborn, and he's greedy. And that's really all there is to say about him. He's a little bland, other than being very, very smart. And he's a very old-looking 17-year-old. Like, there's just something about the way that those cheeks, like, are just bony like that that makes him look, like, ancient. Like, he looks, he looks like he's at least middle-aged, which is uh, a bit ridiculous. But what he lacks, what he lacks in looks, he definitely makes up for in smarts. Hopefully he'll be able to carry more domain than myself. I would like to have, uh, you know, just a few more provinces in my domain. The other big issue is, I want to expand this way. And right now, that's... That's difficult with the Byzantine Empire consuming parts of Hungary, uh, parts of Croatia. I'd really like to start eating this much faster. The way to do that would be to become a kingdom and push duchy level title claims uh, for claimants, which would be excellent. I think that would be fantastic. I'd really like to have that start happening. Or if I could just beat off Byzantium in a war, that would be fantastic. I don't see that happening. Uh, they have 12k troops. And I have much less than that, which is, again, unfortunate. Uh, Swack, who's playing the family of Trump, who uh, wants to leave Byzantium. I don't know why, because it really does protect him against, like, Rum and Persia and the Abbasids. He may have struck some sort of deal with Seek, uh, which would be all right. And it would ultimately it weakens the ERE if if uh, Cyprus leaves. Now again, that might not happen. He might be he might not be telling the truth about that. I doubt he would lie about that. Um, he might decide that it's better to stay. I think it's better to stay just because he's got. The Fatimids, he's got rum, he's, he's just literally surrounded by enemies. And staying inside of a big power is definitely going to help him. I, on the other hand, really want to leave the Holy Roman Empire. I'd really like to get a kingdom level title. I'd really like to inherit Hungary, but that didn't happen because the, uh, the Emperor is a jerk. Also because of Imperial Law... Uh, of controlled realm inheritance, so I wasn't able to inherit Hungary. And that sort of, it didn't set me back, but it was just a little weird. And then I ended up in a position where I couldn't protect Hungary from usurpers, 
even though I was in control of my family. Now we've got these bastards on the throne. However, we're going to come back and destroy them. Oops, that's not what I want. I want to click on myself. So I'm, I'm an old man. I'm decent at war. I'm decent at reading and learning. Not so good at the stewardship, though. Uh, let's see now. Balderich? Balderich, I think is how that's pronounced. He's not so good. He's very, very short. And he's very, very weak. He's a competent military commander. Competent steward. And that's really all I can say about it. He's He's paranoid. Probably because he's so short. I, I would be... I'd be terrified of things if I was... If I had dwarfism. To all the dwarves who might be watching this channel, like, you are... You are strong people. But, uh... Much stronger than myself. Emotionally, at the very least. I'm gonna shut up on that subject now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've got Kramer in charge of Italy. House Remark. Uh, King Fos Fosco. I don't know, mispronouncing things is my thing. The damn near last of the Kramer dynasty. He had some issues keeping succession. He, uh... He convinced me to get involved in this war. To, uh... To make the Holy Roman Empire elective. And then there was going to be a second war to put me on top of it. I don't... Know why he'd rather me than him. And honestly, if I get in charge of the Holy Roman Empire... I will probably... Essentially... I'll keep it elective. I'll probably just take as much of it as I can. Uh, for the good of my family. And then just pass on. Or... Um... Maybe... Let my son out of it so I can just peacefully disassociate myself from the uh, from the HRE give my give like my son independence uh give him uh, pretty much all my duchies and then just pass on and just be him outside of the Holy Roman Empire I might have to adjust the inheritance laws in the uh the HRE uh when it comes down to basically what I'm saying is I don't know if this is gonna stop me from doing that from giving my son a bunch of duchy titles and then dying. So I may have to change this to free. I want it to be free anyway because fuck the HRE right now. I do love it, but not right now. Anyway, back on the focus of Kramer. Uh, his wife doesn't seem to have claimed it. Well, she does have claim to... Yeah, it's not going to help him. I don't think he's going to use that to expand. I don't think he has any desire or plans to attack the HRE. And his daughters are not... His daughter and son aren't betrothed yet, so I have no idea what he's planning with that. His, uh... What is this? His, uh... I'm gonna say it's his sister is married to my son, so we do have an alliance. God damn it, J-Crop. Alright, so J-Crop is playing WrestleMania. You fucking bastard. Uh, let's look at him. King... Ustash? Ustash. Estash? Ustash? One of those is probably close to right. He's an elusive shadow, greedy, arbitrary, one son. Joffrey. No betrothal. Son doesn't really have any traits, so there's really nothing to say about that. He's got a loyal hunting dog, though. War taxes going on. Uh, he's donated to a holy order. All in all, I think things are going all right for him. Who's his betrothed? Why? No, stop. There has to be a reason to this. Prince of France. King of France. <laughs> I see what he did. He's not going to like it when he realizes that France is agnatic. Well, okay, he might not be he might not be doing it for the sake of her inheriting France. He might be doing it for the sake of both an alliance and for her to get a claim on France. And that I could totally see. And I'm going to pause this because I'm getting a phone call. 
Sorry about that, I had a little distraction. What was I doing? Oh, yes. Wrestle fucking mania. God damn it, Fable. Yeah, well, I suppose it could be worse. I'm not sure that Ermac's original family... I think he was playing the, uh... Uh, Yamina? Um, however, I am unsure. The AI was probably doing better than he would normally. That's probably not fair to say. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see now. I think that this was, uh, epic. I can't say with 100% certainty, however. Uh, given all the traits... I feel like there's a strong possibility that it is. However, again, I'm not 100% sure. It could be Seville. I don't know. It's definitely, at this point in time, not a created character, so... It'll be a little bit difficult to figure that out. They're definitely related. And then, I think the only person that I haven't talked about yet is Seek. Let's take a look at him. Uh, he's quick. Uh, he's got very good stats. Very young. A very powerful Caliph. And he is the glorious. Uh, he's... He's pro-technology. He's very progressive, apparently. Who am I missing? I think... Well, clearly that... Wait, what? Huh. What does Mr. Trump own? That's what he owns. Okay. Was this epic? Not epic. I'm sorry. Stalin. I don't know. Uh, I don't re quite remember where Stalin was. And... I think think that Fable's family is now in control of the Byzant of, uh, Byzantium. I'm not 100% sure that there's anything really left to look over here. Um, just looking for some weird things. Persia owns this little weird little bit of land here. Uh, let's look at some other parts of the world as long as you've got some time. Uh, Zazid is kind of big. Uh, India looks about the same. The Ghaznavids are still holding on. Ghana is still down there all by itself. Mauritania, I think is... Yeah, Mauritania is pretty powerful. Uh, Sicily's taken down here. Sicily actually seems to be running from Sicily. I didn't realize that the Christians were doing this well in Africa. Pisa's taking all this. Is, oh, Duke of Bacon's was part of Genoa. That's the, ah, oh, he's in charge of Genoa right now. That in and of itself is interesting. Or should I say the Serene Republic of Greece? I'm surprised he hasn't made this the primary title. But it probably doesn't matter that much because they're getting their ass handed by, to them by uh, Byzantium. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have for you now. Remember to be a hero to the, to the uh, Mega Republic by liking and subscribing. And as always, I will see you next time.